So I'm makeupless today, and my hair is back. That's called lazy day, because I wasn't expecting to have a day off today. Um, there was a little bit of a sit back with um, our film that we're shooting right now. Um, not to get into too much detail uh, with regards to what's going on, because I respect the privacy of the people involved. But um, there was a serious situation that happened, and we've had to postpone the shoot, which isn't a big deal, because we were planning on shooting the rest in May anyway. So now instead of shooting one week in May, we're going to shoot two weeks in May, which means I have free time to catch up on the things that I've fallen behind on, which is really nice, because I have another production that I'm working on, and it's an animated TV series, and I was going directly into principal photography for that on April 13th, and now I'll be able to get some of the preliminary things that I need to get done for that before that happens. So it kind of like worked out a little bit. I mean, it's a lot of work that we're going to have to do in terms of rearranging what we need to for our film in May, but um, it'll happen. And it'll be fine. And then it'll be a great film. And we've got lots of support and our team is phenomenal. We've got one of the best crews we could ever hope for. And our actors are amazing. So anyway, having said that, let's get into this. Um, today, I am going to be cooking Turkey Tatrazzini Deluxe. The recipe is by D-A-C-L-K-G. And it looks wonderful. And the reason why I'm making this is because I found a bag of leftover turkey in the freezer from, oh my goodness gracious, the Christmas time. So I figured we better use it before it gets completely frostbitten and yucky. So I found this recipe, which is perfect for leftover turkey. So it tells me that I had to bring a large pot of lightly salted water to a boil and then add pasta and cook for eight to 10 minutes. And the pasta that it calls for is linguine. And I already did that. Um, my dog is breathing super heavy, like he's dying of thirst or something. Uh, Bear, I don't have anything for you. Go away. <laughs> go away. Go, go lie down or something. You're breathing too heavy, it's annoying. So anyways, I already did, shh, go. He usually listens better than that. And then he's coming back. He's not listening to me. Um, so I already did that. The pasta is sitting in the sink right now. And I was told to preheat the oven to 375. Let's see how that's doing. It's at 350, so it needs a bit yet. Okay. And I'm supposed to melt butter in a large saucepan over medium heat. Okay, let's do that. It calls for one cup of butter. This doesn't quite look like it's a cup. It looks more like three quarters of a cup, and you know me and my butter, so I'm going to have to go and get more from the fridge and add to that. There it go. He's hoping that something will just fall into his little mouth. He's really good at catching things. He's old, but he's got great reflexes. There, now that's what I'm talking about. I love butter and butter loves me. Okay. So we melt butter in a large saucepan over medium high heat and then we add the mushrooms. Okay, let me tell you what this recipe calls for while I'm waiting for that butter to melt. That's a lot of butter, oh my gosh. I've never cooked with that much butter in my life. Okay, one 16 ounce package of linguine pasta. Half a cup butter. Three cups sliced fresh mushrooms. I don't have fresh mushrooms, so we're using canned mushrooms, which probably doesn't surprise you any. One cup minced onion. One cup minced green bell pepper. We don't have green bell peppers, so we're going to be doing without that today. 
two cans of condensed cream of mushroom soup. Each can is 10.75 ounces. Two cups chicken broth. Two cups shredded sharp cheddar cheese. One 10 ounce package frozen green peas. Half a cup cooking sherry. I don't have cooking sherry, so I actually looked this up and I found out that you can substitute cooking sherry with dry red or white wine. So I'm using dry red. One teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. One teaspoon salt. Quarter teaspoon ground black pepper. Four cups chopped cooked turkey breast. One cup grated Parmesan cheese. And paprika to taste. All right. That butter is melting nicely. I can't believe it calls for so much butter! Uh oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> I'm not even tired today. I actually got a decent amount of sleep for a change. I can't believe I did this. Why is it that I always make at least one or two mistakes every single time I go to cook? I thought it called for one cup of butter but it doesn't. And I think I already just like read the recipe back to you and I still didn't clue in that it's calling for half a cup of butter and I have like a cup of butter. I mean, I love butter, but I mean, I don't want to be swimming in it. Oh boy. And I thought I was doing so good. Because the recipe says that it takes 25 minutes to prep and 35 minutes to cook. It took me roughly 40 minutes to prep because I'm slower than the average person. Only because I don't know what I'm doing. If it was any other normal cook, they'd probably even do it quicker than what it says here. So anyway, um, I thought I was doing really good. And um, not so much. So now I'm really, really curious to know how this is going to taste when I have half a cup butter more than what I'm supposed to have. Oh well. Now what it does it tell me? Okay. Add mushrooms, onion, and bell pepper and saute until tender. Alright, here's my mushrooms. I don't have bell pepper, so just the onion, I guess. I'm looking for something to stir it with. I'm gonna grab a spoon and be right back. Okay, dokey, Smokey. We have swimming veggies. Uh, normally I'd be excited about adding more butter, but this is ridiculous. Alright, so I'm supposed to saute till tender. That'll be a few minutes, so I'll be back. Okay. Stirring cream of mushroom soup and chicken broth. Mushroom soup. Mushroom soup. I probably 
shouldn't be using this because it's metal and this is Teflon. Can you hear it scraping the bottom? But it mixes it so much better than the spoon. So I'm, well, it's got little tiny balls on the end, nice little round balls. So maybe that'll be gentle on the Teflon to prevent it from scratching. I hope so, otherwise my husband might hurt me. Not really. It just hurt my feelings. I'm gonna smell that. It smells like mushrooms. Alright, now what? Now I have to keep stirring until it's heated through. Hmm. heated through. Ah! Do you hear that? It's burning on the stove because I just splooshed it all over the place. And this will probably catch on fire because it's paper, paper towel and I'm Getting too close to the element. I'm not that dumb. We could put it right on the element. Then to get pretty close. Gentle, so that we don't splash all over the place. Okay, I'm sure it's heated through. Stir in the pasta. I should have had like a way deeper skillet because I'm not sure this is all going to fit. <sighs> okay. I should have a fork or something. This is going to go big sploosh, cause a big mess. I'm going to get a fork. I got something better. Okay, the pasta's been sitting for a really long time, so now it's just one big sticky mess. Word to the wise, don't let your pasta sit for too long. I'm beginning to think I don't like cooking. <laughs> Maybe it'll all come apart once it gets, you know, mixed in with the sauce. I hope so. I may get a fork and, and try to go doop doop doop. Okay, let's try this. See what happens. I'm so far behind. My son has swimming lessons tonight. So I'm trying to get supper cooked before he has to go. And he has to be there at 6.30 and it's about 20 minutes away. So I was hoping to eat at 5.30 so he's not eating too close to class so he doesn't end up with cramps. And it's already 5.18. I tried to start sooner. I was like, I better start at four just in case. But then I got phone calls that set me behind. It's always something. Now I'm supposed to stir in the cheddar cheese. I don't know about 
this. I still have to, like, lots of ingredients still have to be added to this. And it's already like almost overflowing. Got to be super careful. Otherwise, I'm going to get it all over the place. How much sherry? Half a cup. Turn my nice pasta into a beet colored mushy steak. It's just getting so full. Like it was, I don't know. I'm feeling a little, well, I guess we'll see. It's getting harder and harder to stir without. I'm trying to like blend it really well, but it's hard to do that when it's so full. Like everything is kind of going to one side. It doesn't help that there's a slant on, on the stove. Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon coming up. pepper I'm going to mix all that right now Because I don't really have any, you know, this, it called for a, a large saucepan. This is a large saucepan, but I don't have any saucepans that are bigger than this, so. See how the oven is doing for temperature. Oh, 350 still. Okay. 
Um, and turkey. Oh boy. I don't know about this. This is going to be a real challenge trying to stir that. Well, so far so good. not as difficult as I expected. Huh. Surprise, surprise. Huh. Even though it's like right on the edge of spilling over, it hasn't yet. Okay, I just can't imagine this having that much flavor. Just adding like just little bits of ingredients. But we'll see. Now I'm supposed to transfer the mixture to a lightly greased 11 by 14 inch baking dish. Okay, I'll go and grab that. Okay. This is going to feed a lot of people. We're going to have leftovers for a week. I'm going to transfer this baby into this bigger dish, just like so. Where's my spoon? Oh, I got rid of it. I was talking about the brown one, the wooden one. This will do, I guess. tells me to bake in the oven for 25 to 35 minutes. So let's do that. It's now at 375. And now I gotta force it into my son's belly in time for him to make it to swimming lessons and hopefully he doesn't get cramps. It looks pretty good. It smells kind of so-so. Why? Look at this messy house. Rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Come on, Jamie, stop copying your brother. I didn't even get to go yet. One, one, one two, two, three. 
We're not <laughs> copying Mary Shelley. <laughs> You're obviously related. One, One two, two, three. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Jared wins, so Jamie goes first. <laughs> I want to. Too bad. Take a bite. Careful, blow it off. What a messy house we have today. It's too hot. I know, you have to just <laughs> blow it off. Put it on your fork and blow. Blow, blow, blow. Oh, I got it on my shirt somehow. Jared. Okay, so much money I have saved up. She doesn't know. Again. Your turn, Jared. No, no, Xbox no, Live again. I give it. What oh. was that? That wasn't me. That was Jared. Oh. Come on, let's bring it over here. Eat. What was me? Um, I what was give me? it. Eat. What do you? What do you? I come give on. it a five out of a five. You mean five out of ten? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Jared. Yes. Jeez. I don't know. Fill me then. I'm ready. Come on, Daddy's waiting. I'm ready. Hold on, Daddy. <laughs> Come on, Daddy's waiting. <laughs> Mom, can you put the camera on me for a second? Nope. First things first. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Oh my Three God. out of ten. <laughs> All right. I don't want to try it now. <laughs> Thanks, Jared. Do I have to? I'll go first, then I'll I'll um tell him what. Hmm. What are you talking about? That tastes good. Eat. Wow, Dad really likes it. What's your good. problem? Can I vote again? Can I vote again? Yes. I Voted. What tastes bad? I voted. Everything. Uh, more than a five. I voted an uh, eight. An eight. You really like it? Eight out of ten. And oh. that'll stick if it's at all. Oh, I'm cheating. <laughs> it's six all right, the fight is hopefully to, over. Let's wait to go to swimming. Let's see what this tastes like. Start to death. Yep. It doesn't smell like good. It's not. It's it tastes not good. just. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Daddy likes it. He gave it an eight. It tastes fine. Daddy eats everything. Yeah, it's it's well, he doesn't like everything. I want to see him just like three things. Yeah, three things. Is it good? Eh. No, we don't yeah. make it again. Because oh. she only makes food that we all like, even though she has not True. Any of the other food. It's good. But I'm not allowed to make it in again because Jared didn't score me high enough. No, you're going to make it again. Put beef in it next time. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks, I'm not, buddy. I'm not eating them. I'll just All right.